Taking a look at our problem statement, it's basically when you're trying to do something in AWS Lambda, like import a package like LDAP that doesn't exist, that isn't supplied, and isn't part of the serverless architecture. You get this error message, unable to import module into Lambda function. No module named, and in our case LDAP, but it could be any, any library that you're trying to import for use inside AWS Lambda. So in this video we're going to create an environment first and then we're going to do our layer packaging and then we're going to import that into Lambda and use it in a Lambda function. So now let's go ahead and create a clean environment to build our layer. So essentially we're going to launch an instance in AWS. You could use your own machine. It could be Windows or Linux but here I'm just going to go through a simple EC2 uh, instance creation for AWS Linux and uh, I'm going to use all the defaults get my key pair so that I can log into it if I need that um, at you know to SSH remotely and leave pretty much everything um, as it was I'm using the launch wizard one which I created earlier when I created another VM but it, there's nothing special about it so go to go all the way to the bottom everything says default and just click launch instance so this is going to create a new Amazon Linux server host and when that's done we're going to connect into that host. So here we are inside the host we're going to just quickly upgrade yum and we're going to try to install docker. And it says it's already installed so there's nothing to do. So we're just going to check the status and I'll put all these commands down below so you don't have to keep pausing the video. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start Docker if it wasn't running, but it looks like it's already active. So now we're just going to go ahead and create an empty directory that we can start building our layer contents within. So I create the directory and then I'm going to cd into it and then I'm going to edit the requirements.txt so I can vi requirements.txt. And all we really want to do is whatever package we want in Lambda, in my case it's python-ldap, just put that equals equals and then the version number and save and exit. So now that we have our requirements file, we're going to make another directory, subdirectory called python, and we're going to do this later for lib as well. And I'll just copy and paste this command because it's rather long and then walk you through it. But basically what we're going to do is run docker and create a docker container running python 3.8 and have yum install the gcc and open ldap devl which i think are prerequisites for this and then we're going to use pip install to trigger our requirements.txt and put all the files under our subdirectory python slash lib slash python 3.8 slash site packages and the reason we're going to put them in that directory is because that's where lambda is going to be looking for them when it executes So here it's built the docker container, it's updating yum, now it's installing the prerequisites gcc and open ldap-devl and then it's going, ahead, it's going ahead and installed the python ldap package that we needed. So if we look inside python lib python 3.8 site packages you can see the files are there. But the next thing we got to do is create that lib subdirectory and include some of the library files that this package is going to need to run on the serverless architecture in Lambda. So we'll go ahead and make dir lib so it's parallel to Python and then we're going to copy these few files into the lib directory. Now these were determined among all the other ones to be needed as a process of elimination by running this layer in Lambda and just realizing hey it says it's throwing an error saying I need this library file. And now that we have them all in our lib directory we can go ahead and start packaging. So we're in our new directory and we see lib and python are right there so we just do zip minus nine minus r ldap.zip is the name of the file we're going to create 
and give it the first directory, Python. Now we'll run the same command, zip minus 9 minus r ldap.zip, and this time we're going to add the lib subdirectory. So now we have everything inside the ldap.zip, and it's structured in a way that Lambda wants to receive it as a layer so that we can utilize it. So now we just need to get our ldap.zip file up into the layer. I'm going to use S3. I've created this bucket, ldap layer archive. There's nothing in it at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my EC2 instance and transfer this in using the AWS CLI. Uh, I'm going ahead and using credentials, but you could also do an IAM role so that it can access the bucket. And basically, you just do the AWS S3 copy command to copy the ldap.zip from right, right on the drive up to the layer archives directory and give it the same name. And now that that's done, we just refresh and we should see our ldap.zip there. And again, S3 is just a way of getting the file up. You can use any way you like. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my containers. And I only recommend doing this if you don't have any other containers that you care about. But since it's a new machine, I'm just going to do the Docker container prune. And it deletes all the containers and gives me all my space back. So now we're going to import our ldap.zip into our Lambda function. So for that, we're going to go in AWS to Lambda. If it's in your console home, you can just click it, or in the search bar above, just type Lambda, and then click there. And once we're in Lambda, we're going to hop over to our layers. And then in layers, I've already created ldap.layer. Um, if you didn't already have one, you can just create one, the same as creating a version. But in this case, I'm going to create version 2, and I'm going to upload the ldap.zip file that's over in S3. So I'll give it my S3 URL with my S3 bucket name and the uh, file name that I want to copy over. And I'm going to do Python 3.8 for this because that's the, the version I used to create my Docker container earlier. Okay, now that that's created, we can go over to Lambda Functions. What we're going to do is include this in our function query LDAP users. But first, let's just take a look at this. Right now it has no layers, and if we try to run the function as is without trying to import LDAP, it runs 100%. We get a 200 back, there's no error. But as soon as we type in import LDAP, this is our problem that it can't find the LDAP libraries that we want to leverage. So we deploy this and test it, and instead of getting a 200 back, we're going to get an error just saying, hey, that module, LDAP, doesn't exist. We don't have any record of it. And this is where the layer is going to come in. So now that we see this response, we're going to go back up to the top where the layers were and click on the layers. And then under layers, click add a layer button on the right. And for this, we're going to use the custom layers selection for where to choose them from. And then in the drop down, we'll get any layers that we've created. In our case, we just have the one LDAP layer. So we're going to click that. And then for version, we're going to choose version two, the one we just uploaded. And then go ahead and click Add. So now it's attaching this layer to our serverless function. So if we run the same test again with just import LDAP, we should get a 200 back because now it should know where and what LDAP is that we're referencing. And there we go, we get a 200 back. So let's go back into our function code now that we're successful. And let's go back in and we're going to add some detailed code just to do an LDAP query to show it, that it really works. So for this, we're just going to do an LDAP initialize and send it to a generic LDAP URL and then we're going to do a search and get back all the user accounts that we want in our scope and for each entry that's returned from the DN we're going to loop through it and just print out hey this is what was returned so if we test that out we can see that it ran successfully and each account is getting printed out on its own line so we know that we can use all the LDAP features that are now in Python dash LDAP in our LDAP layer inside of serverless AWS Lambda.
So here's some tips in terms of what we did today. We create an environment. Um, you could do Linux or Windows, just have to have the paths correct. Docker's not necessary, I just use it for a clean build. And um, packaging the layer, we really create fresh directories again to not carry any non essentials forward. And zip structure is important so that Lambda can find the files at import in the places that it's looking for them. And lastly, when you import into Lambda, we just do upload our zip file as a layer and we do a basic import just to test that the layer is functional and that we are indeed able to leverage the import. If the import works, we can leverage the rest of the classes within it. So that's it for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, just hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.